Hey guys, in uh, this tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to convert a image file into an SVG file format. Um, I had a, a client reach out to me um, asking me to do this for her. Uh, so she sent over this Word document which has um, looks like some images that uh, uh, she created she copy and paste it into this word document and then emailed it to me so um, I'm going to use uh, Adobe Photoshop to do this and the way I did was um, I would copy control C on this uh, first image here I could choose in any image but I'll just do this first one and I'll come over here to uh, Adobe Photoshop um, and I will go to File, New. Uh, now I've uh, I've already uh, gone through this process a little bit, so that's why you're going to see um, there's already some custom um, uh, dimensions uh, profiles that I've already created. Uh, uh, but basically, um, I kind of have an idea of what of the size of this document or of this image is and what I'm looking for so I'm gonna click on uh, this custom one which is 325 by 200 pixels um, you can customize this any way you like by coming over here uh, to this uh, side panel and um, making sure you're under pixels and you can change the width and then the height um, and then the orientation that you're looking for since this is a uh, since this is a horizontal I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at a horizontal dimension um, and I'll hit create so once it creates it I will go ahead and go up here I will not control V instead I'll come up here to edit and paste special and select this option paste in place so once I do that um, it kinda um, paste the uh, that image in more of a centered fashion around the this uh, this uh, canvas size that I chose um, as you can tell uh, the canvas is a little bit bigger than the actual uh, image and um, if this is what uh, if you're comfortable with this that's fine you can leave it at that I tend to tighten it up a little bit more because I know that uh, she's probably gonna end up taking um, this uh, this image um, and uh, maybe uh, putting it on some marketing materials and so forth so I don't want as a, a large amount of white space uh, surrounding it so to do that, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the canvas, um, the canvas dimensions. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to image and uh, canvas size, and I'm going to make sure we're back on pixels. So here are, um, we can modify this, the both the width and the height. So uh, for the width. I'm going to go maybe 300 on there and then on the height uh, which uh, looks like it's from top from the top edges and the bottom edges here I'm gonna go maybe 160 so it's gonna be 300 by 160 and I'm hit OK it's gonna uh, give me a warning saying hey these dimensions are uh, uh, going to be smaller than what you uh, you already have uh, uh, depicted here. Is that okay? You can hit okay. You can hit proceed. And as you can tell, it uh, it shrinks the dement the canvas. Uh, it kind of gives it a more a more tighter feel around the uh, the image. I think I'm going to go a little bit more tighter around here. So let's go back here to image canvas size pixels so we did 300 on the width I'm gonna do 280 that's gonna 
do the left and the right edges and then for the top and bottom maybe 140 so 280 by 140 we'll probably get a warning again hit proceed Ooh, I like that yeah that's uh that's more of what I'm I'm comfortable with uh, hopefully she's comfortable with it also in case she um, she puts this anywhere <clears throat> this image on any um, documents or or objects marketing objects but fine so once we have that done um, I will go up here to file and I am going to export select export and then I'm gonna select export as and in this option here um, in this window here well we see that we can export it under um, a number of different formats uh, GIF, PNG, JPEG I'm gonna do SVG uh, leave it as a standard uh, the size is correct that's what I had it set to and I'm gonna hit export I'm uh, going to ask us for a location to save it. Um, so, uh, probably go into my uh, documents. And in here, I'll just, uh, I already created this before, but I'll just name it test to delete me and click save and boom um, it has uh, created an uh, SVG file format for this image uh, if you want to test it uh, we can go to uh, if you want to test it we'll open up an explorer window uh, go back to documents scroll down and there's test 2 delete me and it's an SVG um, file format alright I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that quick little tutorial if you have any uh, comments or concerns leave them down on, um, below the video and feel free to uh, like share and subscribe uh, see you guys in the next video